Hello, global family. Well, I have been given the challenge to start this Pamela D's two minute modification where you decide that you are going to modify your life to make it better. So every week, usually on a Thursday, I will come on and talk for two minutes. If you could believe that, only two minutes. So today I am going to talk about the five steps to keep your resolutions. I did not write these, these are by Nick and Megan Unsworth. So the first one is you would write down and clarify what is the vision for your life? What do you want to achieve this year? Now you may actually wanna achieve a lot of things, but you don't wanna overwhelm yourself. Write down one thing. Is it lose weight? find a job, buy a home, whatever it is, write it down and clarify it. The second thing is, is you wanna declare it, declare it to the world, write it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, tell your priest, tell your pastor, whoever, find an accountability partner. Tell everybody and anything that you wanna accomplish this. The third thing is you want to write a letter to yourself as if it has already been accomplished. All right. Write it down specifically in, in present tense or like as if you've already achieved it. I love the new home that I just bought. I love feeling that I've just lost 50 pounds. Whatever it is, write it down specifically and put it by your bed because you're going to read it soon as you wake up in the morning and soon as you go to bed at night, you have to do this. Write it down and read it every morning and every night. And then the fourth thing is to resource up, resource, find an accountability partner. Um, you don't want to do it alone. There's Facebook groups, a million of them, especially for weight loss groups, for buying a home, for buying, getting a job. Go on mastermind.com and get a program for $47. There's so many different things that you could do to resource up. And the, the fifth thing that you have to do is have faith over fear. Faith over fear. So what is fear? False evidence appearing real? No, Armando Perez says, uh, aka Pitbull, says that some people forget everything and run. Those are the weak people, those are the scared people, those are the people who don't have faith. But the ones who have faith, forgive everyone and rise. Forgive everyone and rise, okay? So these are the five tips to keep your resolutions for the year. There's one other thing I wanna say is that you also, while you're writing this and every day when you're reading it, you want to think about where you will be at the end of the year. Think about it, feel it, and think about how excited you're going to be when you lose that 50 pounds, when you buy that new home, when you get that new job, whatever it is your dream is or whatever you're going to accomplish. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is my challenge, and I hope everybody likes it. Uh, if you would please share this if you can, if so, you think somebody can benefit from this, please share it. Thank you. Now I have to find out how you stop recording. <laughs>